Hello all, welcome back. In this session, we will be looking into how to create a Linux image for virtual machine. The first question is, what is Linux image? What is an image? It's nothing but a snapshot of an already existing operating system. In earlier class, we have seen how to install CentOS, configure the IP address, install Java. On the top of it, we have installed the Cassandra and we brought the server up and we were able to connect to the SQL database. So now to create one more node, should I go through all these hectic process? No, I don't want to do all these things again to set up the second node. What I will do is I will just take the same replica which I have already installed and I do little changes like IP changes or small configuration changes so that it acts as a different node. So Linux image is nothing but a snapshot of an already existing Linux operating system. In our case, it's CentOS. Let's go ahead and create a Linux image. For this, open the VMware Workstation Pro. In second video, I'll show you what all the required software and where to download. If you have not checked that video, please go back and check and download this software. And open the VMware Workstation and then go to File and then click on Scan for Virtual Machines. When you click on that, it will ask for a path where you have already installed your virtual machine. Earlier we have installed, I have installed my OS, sent OS in this path. So choose the path and click the next. So the, I am having three virtual machines. So earlier video I have installed only three, node three. I'll keep it that and click on finish and close. Now you see I have got the sent OS node three. Select it, go to file and then click on export to OVF. It will ask to save. I want to save in images. Send OS node 4. Click on node 4. Now click on save. This is it. This now it's going to create the image for you. It takes on some time. Let me pause the video till it completes and come back. Now the image has been created, sent OS node 4. The next step is how to import this into the virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation Player and then click on open a virtual machine and then choose the image which you have created. Press open. Now it will ask you the name of the virtual machine. You can give whatever you want. Suppose let us say 504441 import and it takes time. You can click on do not show this message again, retry. It takes time and imports the image into your machine. Once your file is loaded, just click on the same file which you have just created and then let's check whether the image is same as the earlier OS or not. Earlier OS I have created my username and password. Yeah, there it is. I'm able to log in. Let's see the files. I have downloaded Cassandra and earlier OS. The same thing exists here. Let me check which Java. Java is there. Then echo Cassandra home even this exists so this is how we create an image of an existing Linux operating system and then import into virtual machine in the next session we will be looking into few configuration changes like changing the static IP to differentiate this from the earlier OS it should be have its own IP address and it should have its own host name we will be changing that and for Cassandra related, we will be changing the ML file because there is change in IP. Thank you for watching. We will meet in the next session.